I want to thank everybody for attending the ground baking ceremony um, for our county complex. Um, first, I want to take this opportunity to recognize um, some special guests that we have. Um, we have our district attorney, Lance Richardson, is here with his lovely wife. I thank you for showing up. Thank you. We have Norman Pinders here sitting in the front row. Norman's from our Town of Central Board of Appeals. Um, and we have um, Tim McCluskey, who's one of our Centerville Town Council representatives. So thank you very much. And then, of course, uh, flanking me to the right and left um, are our county commissioners. We have Jim Moran, David Dunmire, Bob Simmons, and Dave Old. So thank you. Um, I'm going to ask that everybody please stand and join me in the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Um, before I turn this over to Todd Monner, Director of Public Works, um, I just want to talk briefly about the facility. Um, and to cite a little bit of history about why we're here today and how we got there. This 37 acre property was actually purchased by the prior administration and then annexed by the town council of Centerville back in 2010. When we took office, we began to evaluate ways to consolidate and centralize government services. So we looked at the possibility for constructing a modern county complex. We also concluded that a new county courthouse was very much needed. So it made sense to look at property we already owned to build a central facility and to house the agencies that existed in the older buildings currently standing in the proposed location for the new courthouse. Hence the idea for this new facility was born. It provides a place for ongoing central county services, gets us away from paying for long-term building rents, maintenance costs, and makes way for the new circuit courthouse, which is being designed as we speak. In addition, along with this new building, infrastructure will be constructed to develop overall, to develop the overall property, including town streets and public utilities, yielding over 20 acres of commercial property, ready for future opportunities within the town. I'm going to turn the um, the podium over to Todd Monner, director of Public Works to touch on some of the project remarks. Thank you, Phil. And as Commissioner Moran just said, the wind doesn't bother me too much anymore like uh, my fellow uh, commissioners here. Our new county office facility will be a single story, 18,400 square foot building with a 5,400 square foot basement. This building will accommodate three county agencies, our departments of planning and zoning, and I see Steve Cahoon, our director of planning and zoning here, the office of the state's attorney, and the Queen Anne's County Board of Elections. And I, I know they're here today too. There's Brittany Thomas, our election board uh, executive. It will be improved with new public meeting room space, including state-of-the-art informational systems and videography equipment for our public meetings. It also includes a secured climate-controlled warehouse for our very precious voting equipment that Brittany oversees. The building was designed using many sustainable features such as geothermal heating and cooling systems, LED and CFL lights, natural light tubes in the interior of the facility so that we can bring the natural light into that space, and low-use water fixtures. The building itself will be constructed using a metal framing uh, exterior with the brick cladding on the on the outside and Energy Star efficient uh, asphalt shingles. Site work will also provide an 88 public parking area in the rear which will utilize stormwater management friendly water quality permeable pavers for uh, improving the water quality aspects of the environment. As Phil mentioned the overall site which we're standing here will be developed uh, with 1800 feet of new public town streets public water and sewer lines 
and a reservation of land that will be dedicated to the town of Centerville for a new public water tower to serve this area. Both of which will provide for additional opportunities and future growth within the county and here in the town of Centerville. Our construction timetable is 14 months from uh, this month. We hope to break uh, gr official ground uh, this month and um, we, we have a prospective move-in date in the Christmas of 20, 2015. So we look forward to that. So I'll pass it over to Phil for a few special acknowledgments and then we can move on to the, to the gra groundbreaking. Thank you, Tuck. Uh, before we actually get started with the actual um, labor intensive aspect of this uh, dedication, um, uh, I want to uh, recognize some folks that were instrumental in, in getting us here today. Um, Barry Griffith, I don't know if Barry's here, um, Rick Van Emberg with Lane Engineering, a uh, local engineering firm right here in Centerville. I want to thank them for all their help and their efforts. Um, uh, Ed Masick and Jeremy Klein with Wheeler, Goodman & Masick Architects for their design of the building. We want to thank them. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Appreciate you, your help. Um, to all our friends and colleagues uh, in the town of Centerville uh, and the residents of Providence Farms, uh, this is a close project uh, and something that they've been uh, giving us input and direction and some ideas about making this uh, a, a good partnership. Um, I want to thank the staff of the Department of Public Works, our engineers who work closely with our our engineering firm and and um, and our architects. I want to also recognize the contractor who is here with us today, Joseph. Road and Rick Jackson with Mullen Contracting Company. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Finally, I'd like to ask my fellow commissioners if they would share uh, any thoughts that they may have uh, regarding this project. Um, is there anybody that wanted to, to speak? I took the words right out of their mouths. <laughs> Won't be the first time. High efficiency windows with this wind. Okay, high efficiency windows. Make a note of that. With the wind. Yeah. We got another day, Phil. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. Um, we have 10 shovels. Uh, Todd, if you'll direct uh, who is to grab a shovel, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get started with this. Get a shovel full there. Try not to throw it on anybody. Ready? Y'all ready there, Phil? Yes, sir. All right, ready? One, two, three, hey! Here we go. One more time. One more. Yeah, do another one. Sure. One more. Do another one. Do another one more, everybody. We have a permit for this? Alright, ready? One, two, three. Hey. Second group. Alright. Alright. We're gonna get the contractor and uh, Jeremy. Go ahead, Dave. On my word. One, two, two and a half, three, 